Oh my goodness. Guess what, everybody? It is time for a Minecraft Let's Play by Magister Simoon. Now, currently, um, I would like everyone to know that my Minecraft series, The Cage, um, the file got corrupted or something stupid like that, so I am no longer able to play that map. It's already been deleted, and there's no use in trying. So, um, instead of doing that, it has come to my attention that Minecraft has a hardcore single-player mode. Um, that has gathered my interest. So, I bring to you the Minecraft Let's Play Hardcore. Um, my goal is just to survive as long as I can. I really don't know how long I'm going to survive, but, um, it would be great to make it past day one at least. Um going to do a let's play for every single day um i'm not going to stay in one area for more than a day unless um i get to day once i get to day five i'm going to start building a house so around episode five i will start building a house and a per permanent settlement and i will start going crazy making mine shafts and doing all that fun stuff also if i see a creature um, depending on the creature and whether or not I have the ability to fight it, I will go after it rather than running away. But if circumstances do not permit me to be able to do that, I will definitely run, especially if there's like five. I don't want to get gangbanged. Now, anyways, so let's begin. Well, because obviously there's no highways nearby where I can just sneak off and uh, go sneak off set and go and buy something to drink, I will be a real survivor. Unless I die, then I will be a dead survivor. But either way, more world options. The uh, seed for this will be... Now, <laughs> Those of you who understand this, it is a Bear Grylls reference. Um, but anyways, let's begin. Time to create our awesome world. In a land full of mines, grass blocks, and pigs, and spy dogs. I mean chickens. Gotta hit it with a shovel. Oh snap. By the way, uh, Sly Fox, if you watch these videos, I, I just want you to know I'm sorry if I... Uh, Hit a duck with a shovel. So, uh, yeah. Without further ado, I introduce you to my Minecraft Hardcore mode. Well, obviously, I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, make sure that I get the wooden blocks so I can survive. Now, I hate leaving floating trees, so this may take a while. Um, I'm going to go all the way to the top. This is kind of a uh, tall tree. Um... I really don't want to waste any time just lumbering around. I need to get simple supplies so I can survive. But then I need to also be sure that I can have enough time to make a hidey hole and get food so I don't die of starvation. Um, so, let's see here. I'm going to get about 10 pieces of wood total uh, before I continue. Because that's kind of a good benchmark for me to get stuff and there's a duck I know you're watching me you're telling the skeletons where I am aren't you they're gonna come rape me in my sleep it's okay cuz I'm gonna kill you in a minute so basically um, I'm I'm going to try and uh, be a bit more active in my let's play videos uh, I don't want to leave this tree floating it's gonna bug me later on it's not like I'm going to be near it long enough, but it's still going to bug me. Um, but I'm going to try and be more more relaxed in my videos and not so business-like so that I have to sit here and uh, make sure that everything goes according to plan and I don't, I, I don't want to be one of the commentators that isn't me. I want to be a commentator that... I have my own thoughts and we have wolves and I don't have any bones where is this world coming to um, 
but yeah, I, I really just want to be me rather than a commentator that sits there and reads off a script and does stupid crap like that. Like, I mean, there are commentators that do good at that, and I mean, that all they're they're doing what they're supposed to. They're professional, but you know, being a commentator will be no fun if you're not being you. Um, I I think it's better to commentate being you than being a fraud who you're not really. Now, for my first tidy hole, I'm gonna be, guess I'm gonna be kind of like Frodo Baggins. I'm gonna be hiding in the hill. Um, so, without f any further issues, uh, let's get started on building my hidey hole. Uh, it's, I've got plenty of time it looks like. Not much time has been wasted, unless that's sunset. Okay, good, no. Okay. Anyways, uh, first we'll make a, some sticks. <laughs> Wow, it's been too long since I've played Minecraft. I took a really long break. Um, so let's see here. We'll get a pickaxe, a uh, shovel, and that'll be it for now. Alright, and then a wooden axe. And I'm going to... Go ahead and dig down to stone so I have a stone sword. I don't want a wooden sword. I want a stone sword. Oh my god. Did you... Did you guys hear that? There's... Did I find a dungeon? Or or, or a cave? What? Oh, dude, I'm scared, man. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make that sword. <laughs> uh, I might not be able to defend myself. I, I don't want to die on the first day, man. This this isn't good, bro. This isn't good. Wow. So much for being Frodo Baggins. Um. Mr. Zombie? Can you hear me? Um. Uh, I want to live down here. Um. I'll, I'll be back. I have an idea. Because I'm not prepared to take on a zombie yet. Hell, I don't even have any food, do I? No, I don't. I need to get some food. Before before that, I'm just going to gather up some dirt, kind of. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some food. And I'm going to block myself in there. Because it looks like that's the end of a cave um, system. So the cave only extends one way from that area. So what I'm thinking I can do is I can simply just block it off and uh, continue to live on. So, here I go. Challenge accepted. Leroy Jenkins. Fuck yeah. Well, that was very anticlimactic. Oh. So, uh, this is where you're hiding. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Um, I'll worry about that later. So, let's see here. How am I going to do this? Okay. So, oh. Looks like I can get my wooden sword after all. Or, not my wooden sword. I already have a wooden sword. Good job, Simon. Already messing crap up. Look, oh my god, is that another cave? No, okay. Um, looks like I can go ahead and get my stone sword so that I'm prepared. Alright. Don't know why I did that. Anyways, stone sword. All right. So, ow. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make this place look a bit nicer. I guess that's my goal for the remainder of my time in here. It's kind of even everything out. Um, bit of an OCD freak when it comes to stuff like this, and I have plenty of time to do it. So, let's get to work. Uh, do, do, 
Oh, and uh, just in case, um, if, if you're new to watching this video, which you're probably not, you probably know what Minecraft is, otherwise you probably wouldn't have found this video. Well, I'm not going to say that, because you could have found it otherwise. But anyways, um, if, if you haven't watched too many Minecraft videos, I would recommend watching Sly Fox Hound's videos and Paul So R Jr.'s videos. Uh, both of them are very good. Sly Fox is very Sly Foxy. Um, I don't know how to describe how he does his commentaries, but he does his commentaries in a way that shows that he's relaxed about doing it. He's himself and that I really appreciate that. And Paul So So R Jr. Um I hope I'm saying that right. I don't wanna like say his name wrong because then what if he gets mad? Nah, he wouldn't get mad, would he? Alright. Um But anyways, basically they're they're really good commentators. They uh have a habit of making me enjoy the game more than I already do. Um, it's, it's just kind of a... Oh, it's, it's really a perspective on it. I really enjoy listening to their commentaries and watching them play. Um, Sly Fox Hound has a great series called Minecraft Marriage. Now, I'm not sure if he stopped making those videos, but um, I do believe that uh, he'll continue those. Is They seem to get a lot of views. And, well, if you don't know, YouTube getting a lot of views tends to be a good thing. Um, so, yeah, as I'm saying, uh, I would go ahead and definitely look at them and see if you like their commentaries, uh, see if you like their videos because they tend to do a really good job. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this chicken cooking, because um, I know that I'm going to need that. But I also need some coal. If I want to survive down here, I need some coal before it gets dark. Otherwise, I won't be able to see. Heck, I won't even be able to cook. Um, so I need to go find some coal. And I'm sure there's some coal past this, but I really don't want to go in there. Uh, I'm really scared to go in there, and I don't have much time. So I guess I do have to go in there. I'm going to block this off a little bit, I guess. Survival of the fittest. Definitely not the fittest. It could be fitter options let's see here make sure i have brightness all the way up because i do want um i do want you guys to be able to see um knowing fraps and whatnot it's gonna be a lot harder to see um in this cave but i'll try and do something oh there's a skeleton circumstances permit i'm fighting him bring it on So, there's iron down there. I also heard a spider. There's iron down there, and it looks like I'm going to be fighting for my survival tonight. Um, circumstances no longer permit. I am running. Um, there's no way. I don't remember how to make charcoal all too well. And my guy is getting hungry. I kind of need to eat. Um, so... Oh no, that makes it so much darker. All right, let's. Uh, how do we want to make charcoal? I'm gonna. I'm gonna look that up real fast. All right, I am back, viewers. Um, I'm gonna go and make some charcoal, so I can survive. Now, this is gonna be a quick run out and grab mission. I I just need two pieces of wood. Watching my back here, getting it moving. 
I, I just need charcoal for um, 